Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discussing about uh, non-static or instance method reference. Then we can also called as a reference to non-static method in Java. Now, already we discussed in the last class, there are three types of method references. One is a static method reference, another one is non-static or instance, instance method reference, another one is constructor method reference, another one is constructor method reference. If the method is a static reference, then we need to call like this class name colon colon method name. If it is a instance method reference, if it is a instance method reference, we can call object object or reference colon colon method name. Then observe here, this is the different syntax programmatically we will see, no, do not worry. Now, already we covered this point. Now, we are going to concentrate on what here? This one. In the next video, I am going to concentrate on what here? Constructor method reference. Okay? It is very simple. Concentrate first. Let me take one interface. Already, we have some idea about method references. What is that? If you want to make our existing method logic as a implementation for any functional interface method implementation for implementation for any functional interface related method then we should go for what method reference now i have a method like i have a method public abstract void m1 method now here i am taking one method what is that method public void test method now, in this time, my test method is what here? Non-static method. This non-static method I am using as a implementation for what? M1. If it is a static, if it is a static, if you are using static method as a implementation for M1, that is comes under what? Static method reference. If you are using a instance or non-static method like a test here, if you are using this a test method as a implementation for M1, that we can call as what instance method reference or reference to non static method. Here I have a logic uh, system dot out dot println. Now here I am writing like implementation for implementation for M1 method. Implementation for M1 method. Then how can we make this uh, logic as the implementation for M1 means very simple i obj equal to what we need to do, if it is a static directly, we can go with the class name. If it is a non-static, either we can go with what? New a colon colon test. New a colon test and obj dot m1 method. obj dot m1 method. So, this entire part will replace it with what here? Implementation of this m1 method. Okay, what is that implementation? This one. That means, test method logic will become a implementation for m1 method. Then it will showing output like implementation for m1. Otherwise, we can use this one like this also. How can I a a obj1 equal to new a. Otherwise, do one thing. Let me use the both the things. Let me use the both the things. Here I am writing like i obj2 equal to obj1 colon colon test. Now, obj2 dot m1 method creating first referenced object by using that referenced object we are calling what here test method otherwise either we can we can go for what here unreferenced object or what anonymous object and calling what here test these two statements comes under what uh, reference to non static method or simply we can to simply we can to instance method reference so two time our logic will executing this is a way uh, we can able to provide the implementation for non-static methods by using what here method reference. So, internally this um, double colon will create uh, lambda in that lambda whatever the logic we have in the test that will be placed. So, internally that will become a implementation for M1 of I interface. I hope you understand this video. For more videos please subscribe to channel. Thank you.